If you are in the process of planning your first trip to Poland and are not sure where to begin, then this video is the best place to start. Hey guys, and welcome to Dream Destinations. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Poland is possibly one of the most colourful countries in Europe with its incredible history, fairy tale like castles, and best of all, it's still really cheap. It's a culturally rich nation that is home to large bustling cities, as well as unspoiled remote countrysides and 16 UNESCO World Heritage Sites. You just need to come and experience it for yourself. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number 1. Krakow It is one of Europe's best cities, a young and vibrant city with a charming cobbled street old town. Additionally, it has affordable and high quality restaurants and accommodation. The old city was spared during World War II. However, one of the most inhumane places in European history named Oldswich is a must visit when in Krakow. One of Krakow's iconic sites is the St. Mary's Basilica, also located at the main square. Its interior is decorated with bright blues and dazzling golds and can be visited by spending just a few Polish zloty. Number 2. Warsaw It is Poland's capital where the old and the new come together in one fantastic city. Due to its rough history and massive destruction during World War II, Warsaw is often overlooked as a travel destination. However, the city is very diverse with an old town, hipster area and urban nightlife. There are many great things to do in Warsaw. It is a city where you could spend one or two days discovering all its corners, contrasting neighbourhoods and don't forget about the fantastic food scene. The Old Square is one of the most important landmarks of the city with a spacious walking area surrounded by medieval towers, colourful traditional architecture and beautiful churches all connected by the cobblestone streets that lead to the Old Town Marketplace. If you plan to stay the night in Warsaw, there is an excellent hotel called the Intercontinental Warsaw. It has breathtaking views of the city, a swimming pool on the 43rd floor, jacuzzi and two different saunas. It is definitely the best place to relax after a day of sightseeing. Number 3 Wrocław. It is as unique and unusual as its name. Despite modern life, the city has kept its old world charm with its coloured mansions, hundreds of bridges and river islands, all of which have earned the reputation as the Venice of Northern Europe. More quirky than its name are the hundreds of gnomes that can be found on the city streets. Get ready to enjoy all of the best things in Wrocław, Poland. It may not be the tourist meccas that Krakow and Warsaw are, but that's all part of Wrocław charm. It is still unspoiled in that way. But having less tourists doesn't mean that there is a lack of things to do. Wrocław is full of attractions and wonderful architecture. Having been around for over 1000 years, there's also plenty of history and quirks like many other Polish cities. And being less touristy also means lower prices. Wrocław is cheap to fly to, cheap to stay in and cheap when it comes to entrance fees, food and drinks. If you are planning to visit in wintertime, then you have to check out the Market Square. It is where the annual Christmas markets and festival celebrations take place and is one of the best places to visit. Number 4. Gdansk It is a colourful and romantic port town nestled on the Baltic Sea coast and it is totally surprising. The city also has a dark history. It is here in Gdansk where most historians regard it as the very first place where World War II actually began. Much of the city was destroyed but it came back stronger and better than before. Spend your days gazing at the pretty pastel colour houses that line the wide cobblestone avenues or get up high by climbing one of the many towers of the town. There are many things to do in Gdansk as you can even extend your itinerary and see beautiful nature outside of the city too. And last but not least, number 5. Zakopane It is a city located under the shadow of the mighty Tatra mountain range that straddles the Polish and the Slovakian borders. This place is popular for hikers in the summer and skiers in the winter, so no matter when you visit the area there is always something adventurous for you to do here. If you like hiking and you have a day in Zakopane, I would recommend that you hike the Morski Oko Trail, which should take you around 5-6 to six hours in total and you will have the grand view of the Morski Oko Lake. But if you don't like hiking or it's too cold outside, I would recommend that you book a ticket and go up the cable car to the Kasprovi Ver, where you will be able to see the mountain range from the top. Be sure to check the weather and book the tickets from the website before arriving to avoid disappointment and long queues. And there you have the top 5 places to visit in Poland. I really hope you enjoy your time there. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Dream Destinations. Thanks for watching and until next time.